Hi everyone, my name is Chef Alexis Bouillet and I am Chef Manuel Bouillet and today we are going to introduce you the orange contre flan. So if you are ready, let's get started. So the first step uh, to make our flan is of course the puff pastry base. So actually the puff pastry base is uh, composed in two different parts. The first part we are going to make a dough and the second part is a mix of butter which is slightly softer and also a mix of uh, flour. But first of all we are going to focus on making the dough itself. Huh? So maybe we place into the mixing bowl the flour and also after we are going to add the soft uh, butter and also we have the salt, we'll put the sea salt on the side and we'll finalize with the cold water and then for this recipe we will use the hook. In a way we are using the hook with, but we don't want to develop too much elasticity, we just want to combine well the dough together and just uh, like roughly mixed. Okay so then we place our cold water and we just mix everything gently in first speed. So this process will take around four, five minutes only at slow speed. All right, so after four minutes, our base of uh, puff pastry dough is done. We don't need to have uh, some elasticity. So uh, as you can see, the dough is, is uh, not, not that smooth, let's say, but all the ingredients are well combined together. I'm just gonna put everything together and just make it like a nice, uh, just like a square, just like this. It doesn't need to be uh, to be smooth and with a rolling pin. So maybe we'll show you just how to make a nice, uh, just a nice square. The idea is to have like a thin, thin uh, layer and uh, ready for tomorrow. So that means for the process of the puff pastry, it requests minimum two days uh, for it. So that means the first day we do the dough, the next day we'll do all the lamination process ready then uh, to, to bake it. Okay, so the fact over here that we are using a plastic sheet that is gonna really help us to make something nice and square. At first, I can just use my rolling pin like this and then I will fold the plastic over and then push the angles uh, nicely. I will just simply put over the plastic and then each corner. And then for this preparation, it will be rest overnight, which is around like 12 hours at 3 degrees Celsius. At least the dough will be nice, cold, and uh, not uh, elastic anymore, and will be ready for, for the lamination process tomorrow. So here I'm pressing and then towards the angle and you see like the dough is being filled in each corner. And it's quite easy to do it. We're gonna keep the same mixing bowl. We don't need even to wash it. And with the same mixing bowl, we're gonna do what we call the beurre manié. Beurre manié is the French uh, word to say mix of soft butter and flour and we're gonna just simply mix together in order to have like a smooth uh, butter. So now this is the part two for our puff pastry, which is the beurre manié. Beurre manié means like it's mix of uh, soft butter, we can just cut, cut in cubes, and also our flour tick 65. The goal over here is the same, is to combine everything together, but we don't want to over mix it. The more you're gonna mix it, especially here with the paddle attachment, then the more air you will incorporate inside. And for this one, we just want a simple mix in order to combine ingredients together. The more you will repeat, the more air you will have and the more fragile the dough will be. Then we finalize with the flour. So two ingredients together, and then we just use the paddle attachment, which is a bit more convenient. And we just do a simple mix, so it will take about maybe uh, two, three minutes maximum. As long as all the ingredients are combined together, we just stop the process. Okay, so now we can see our soft uh, butter and flour are well combined together. You see, we have like uh, something a bit like uh, creamy. 
So if everything is well combined together, then we can just uh, stop it. So for the same, for this step, we're gonna use a plastic uh, sheets, and then that will help us to roll it nicely as a square. You have to imagine that the dough before was a little bit more firm, but this one is actually quite soft and very buttery. So if you don't use that, then you can just use a simple plastic wrap that will work pretty much the same. So then the idea after I just to create like a, a nice uh, rectangle or square, it doesn't really matter. After doing the lamination process, we adjust uh, the size uh, anyway. So we put everything in the middle and we just uh, roll out a bit by the same way as the previous uh, step, which is the, the dough. We'll make like a nice uh, square. All right, so in the beginning of the process, we can just spread out a little bit to make uh, easier than the rolling process. Okay, the same, we can use here the rolling pin. And then we want to try to avoid as much as possible the air pockets because tomorrow we will have those air pockets and as soon as we start to roll the dough, then the dough might start to crack. So we go gently. And then I will fold over. And readjust the plastic sheets just to create a rectangular shape. So for this uh, Burmani, which is the butter and flour, it will be exactly the same thing as the dough itself, so it, which means we're gonna store into the fridge at three degrees for about 12 hours or overnight. So now we have a, a nice rectangular one and it's time to be placed in the refrigerator. See you tomorrow. So now it's, it's now time to start our puff pastry. So we have done also yesterday our puff pastry uh, base. So this one is the dough, we're gonna laminate the dough first and keep it uh, here on the dough chiller and then for the next part I will do the what we call the burmanis which is the mix of uh, butter and uh, flour that we have done yesterday also and we are incorporate those two parts uh, together just to make the dough slightly uh, bigger My dough is ready and I will incorporate uh, the, this dough into my uh, burmani. So that means the size of the burmani should be two times uh, bigger. So this one I keep it on the side, then I take my uh, burmani and uh, ready to go. So now I'm going to take the next part which is our burmani. Uh, I suggest that you keep it for just for a few minutes at uh, room temperature. The dough, uh, the mix of uh, butter and flour will be slightly softer, which is much more uh, convenient uh, for you. And then the same when I laminate, and the size of the butter should be two times bigger than the size of, of the dough uh, itself. Okay, so then now uh, my uh, butter and flour is ready. I'm gonna incorporate nicely my uh, dough in the middle. Just make sure there is no flour on the surface and I'm gonna cut it on the side. And just press gently on the top. So then I'm going to use some extra flour on the top and I'm going to laminate through the dough here to make it slightly bigger and starting to do my protein process. Okay, so the final size of the dough is around 90 cm and then I'm going to start my double turn. So if you need just to cut a little bit on the side, it's okay, then you can place it back somewhere so 
So what we're gonna do is uh, making a double turn, so folding in two for the first uh, step. And then fold in one more time to get four layers. Then also cut the side. Get something clear. So now we're gonna rest this dough for two hours at three degrees. Okay, so now it's been two hours resting in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna take it again and then laminate one more time. Over here, we want to do another double fold. So I as you can remember, we have been laminating the dough this way, and then we folded it in four. Then I'm gonna give it a quarter of a turn and laminate the other way. That will help us to have the dough retracting more evenly. So let's get started. Always check that the dough is not sticking to the rollers. If necessary, flip it and then add slightly more flowers. If necessary, you can have a brush and then remove the excess of flour. Then again, we're gonna fold it in four. So we stick together and join in order to stick it nicely, that it won't move, and then flip it over. In that regard, we we'll again end up with four layers total. Over here, I'm gonna slightly cut the edges in order to release the elasticity and the tensions from the dough, and then we'll place it again two hours in the refrigerator, and then we'll do another single fold. So this is our last uh, fold for our buff pastry. So now we're gonna do what we call a single fold. So that means we're gonna fold the dough in three different parts. I'm gonna make the width slightly larger. So then we can rest the dough until the next day, that means tomorrow, and we'll be able to do the final lamination and at the right thickness uh, we want. So for the flan, it will be something like three millimeters. Okay, so after the single fold, now we are ready for the final lamination. The same way, over here I'm gonna make it slightly wider and then give a quarter of a turn and then do the final lamination, usually around 2.5 to 3 millimeters. So let's apply some flour first. So now our dough is at the right thickness, then I'm gonna simply roll it around my rolling pin. And then bring to my frozen wooden board and get ready to cut our flan. So it is now time to prepare our ring that uh, will be used for, for the flan. So I have a 6 inch uh, ring in my hands and manual. I have the five inch over here and I will have to apply uh, like some parchment all around it in order to make sure that the dough won't stick to the ring. So for the six inch ring, I'm gonna just apply a little bit of soft uh, butter inside and then we apply some, uh, just some oil spray on the side just to stick uh, the paper. So we don't need that much, just a thin uh, layer just to make sure the puff pastry will stick easily uh, to the ring. So the goal over here is to completely unrub the ring and then I will have the parchment all the way here tuck to the bottom of the ring. In that regard, then when you will put the ring into the flan, then the ring won't go inside the puff pastry dough and it will bake perfectly. Okay, so now the ring is uh, ready. We're gonna place uh, the ring for just a few minutes into the freezer just to make it nice and cold and you will see that the process will be much more convenient and easier to apply the puff pastry uh, inside. So just for a few minutes into the freezer. 
Okay, so our buff pastry is done and uh, slightly uh, cold. It's better to have it even slightly frozen, which is uh, makes the process much more convenient and easier. So I'm gonna cut uh, one nice uh, band of uh, buff pastry, which is 49 cm times uh, 6.5. Then on the other side, we'll cut a slightly bigger than the 5 inch ring. Actually, the best will be between the 5 inch ring and the 6 inch ring. So I will just go like on the side and cut it. So the band will be applied on the side of the ring and manual for the, the disc will be applied at the bottom. So then for the ring, our ring is nice and cold and what we're going to do is to apply directly into the ring and just to press just to press down delicately to make it nice and, uh, and tight and make it as tight as possible and you can see you have maybe around like 2 cm extra which is normal because during the baking process you will see that the dough will start to extend a little bit so then I just press it, make sure it remains stable. And the rest of the puff pastry, just press it also. That will be the bottom of my uh, flan. Just like this, and then put it uh, directly here. And we just simply press it. And Manuel with a mini spatula, he will just press down the buff pastry to make sure we have a nice uh, angle. Okay, so over here at the bottom, I'm just gonna simply spray a tiny bit of water and then with the spatula, make it as thin as possible. This will actually help us to do not have uh, a thick layer of puff pastry dough on the side. And then we will glue at the bottom, our disc. Also our disc to make sure the development will go uh, pretty well uh, during the baking process. We're going to use a fork to make some holes all around the disc and making sure it will remain flat and uh, stable. Otherwise, if you don't do that, the pastry, puff pastry will pop out and uh, you will uh, not get something flat at the bottom. So here at the bottom, do not hesitate to press really, really well. And you need to stick those two layers together. And then towards the end, yes, we'll use the fork to make sure it doesn't puff too much. All right, so now our flan is done. So we should place it in the oven at 170 for about like 35 to 40 minutes regarding your oven. Then we'll be nice and golden brown and then we remove the ring and then the next step will be our pastry cream.